Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be starting our first tutorial in a series of tutorials on how to create a basic game in Blender. Uh, it'll be a three-dimensional game and we'll be going through each component of what we need. So when you start up Unity, it'll last for an account. If you have an account set up, that'd be great and you just go ahead and put your information in. This will just make it easier later on when we need to get assets and things like that. Once you've done that, and you've done the startup of Unity, it'll ask you to create a project. So just go ahead and create a pro project. Um, it'll ask you to find a location on your computer to place it. So just go into your, uh, into your browser and uh, find a good spot. Give it a good name so that you know what it is and you can get back to it. Um, all right, so once you've loaded it up, you'll see this screen here and this could look like a little bit different in everyone's uh, screen. So I'll just have show you where you can change these sorts of things. So at the top here, windows, layouts, and you've just got a few different ways you can lay this out. Two by three is what I currently have here. And as you can see, I just refreshed it. And this is the layout I get. So in the top here, we have our scene. So this is where all our game get aim objects go and what our scene looks like. And we can move around. So We've got some tools up here to be able to move around with. So if I hold down my mouse wheel, I can move around, move it, pull it side to side. If I right click, I can look around. I can zoom in and out with mouse wheel. So I can do a few different things like that. And uh, yeah, this is where all our main objects are going to go at the moment. So at the moment, we've got a camera in here and we've got a directional light. Below that, we have our, what our actual camera is displaying to us. So we've got a horizon and nothing else there at the moment. So we've got our light source in there so we can actually see stuff, but there's nothing in there for it to see at the moment. In the hierarchy, this is our hierarchy of objects. So I've got my first scene. Yours might say like scene one and it will be unsaved. So you can click on that and just go uh, file, save, and then you can give it a name. I've already named mine level one, and that just way when we need to save our scene, it's already got a name attached to it. And as you can see, we've got our main camera and we can click on our different objects in here um, to select them. When we do click on our objects over in here, you can see over in the inspector tab over here, you can see a whole bunch of settings that we can manipulate and change to do different things to that object. We're not going to play around with that just yet. It's just here and we'll leave that alone. And we've got our directional light, same thing. It changes those options. All right, in the middle section here, we've got our project and this has a couple of folders in it already for me. You might just have one folder in it, assets for you. I've gone ahead and uh, added a few assets already to my project just to get the ball rolling and of course you can pull these around and manipulate this so you, you can get your spacing so you can see everything in my assets folder as you can see I've opened up a whole bunch of different things and I can click on them and as you can see there's there's a huge number of things I've already imported but we'll get to importing assets in a minute so this is the basics of Unity's display. Um, at the top here, we've got a run button that when we click it, this screen down here, it's actually running now the game. And if we had anything in here that we do, um, then that would be occurring right now. Now, big, big thing to remember is that once you click, click play, and if you go to change something and you stop playing it, it'll revert back to whatever you had before. So don't make changes when you've got it playing, when you've got it playing and you've hit pause as well. That pauses the game midway so you can check things out, but don't make any changes until you completely are back out. And as you can see, no buttons are clicked. All right, so that's start. Just a really important thing to remember. All right, so we're gonna add a terrain. So this is the surface that our in the end, our character is going to be moving around on and everything's going to be interacting with. So we're going to go up to game objects and in game objects, we're going to go 3D objects and we're going to go down and click on terrain. And as you can see, it created this massive, massive terrain. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. And as you can see, I can't even tell where my camera is anymore. So this is our new terrain. We can move around. We can, and at the moment it's white, and that's why at the bottom here it's coming up white. So our main camera at the moment is over there, and it can be a little bit annoying to move around in Unity, but 
you might need to pull things around a bit just to get your spacing correct and there we go so on our terrain as you can see we've got some options over here on the right hand side in the inspector and we've got some different tools here that we can use all right so at the moment we haven't done anything with it so we're going to go rise on lower terrain and we've got some different types of brushes we've got different sides of paintbrush uh, opacity and lighting we're going to leave lighting alone so as you can see when over here in my window on the left you can see i've got this sort of blue area that highlight and when i left click it grows the terrain around that blue sphere if i make wanted to make it bigger go over the brush right on the right hand side now i can make bigger terrain and as you can see it's just pulling up on the terrain all right so and then if i don't want it as hard do it light, lighter lighter pulls on my terrain and then i can change it maybe to a solid circle so it pulls up like a platform as you can see it kind of pulled up a platform perfectly round circle you could have it scattered make it sort of bumpy hilly and that's the effect that one has on it the next one in our uh, tools is paint height so we could set an exact height that we want our um oops i just accidentally hit flatten which flattened everything out but exact height allows us just to pull exactly to a certain height level and it looks like i've moved my terrain a bit so i'm going to go up to the top left here grab it drop it back down because i've muck, been mucking around and it didn't exactly do what i wanted it to do all right let's go back up to height and let's just go oh, i think i actually stretched the height out so let's just flatten it all to zero again that would make more sense and then i'm going to pick a height and it'll pull to that height pull everything up and if i set it perfect it'll do it instantly should be doing it As you can see, it's gone up a long way because my height I set to 160, which is probably too much. So let's just drag it all back down. We can flatten it back out to zero again. This is the thing about this. We just have to figure out what height we want. So if we only want a little bit of height, there we go. It doesn't come up too high on us. You can see down in the game window here, you can still see the height of it. Now, once we've done this, we can set up, I'm just going to make a little bit of a path here. And that's going to curl around. It's going to have an old shoot here. And then I'm just going to muck around a little bit, getting a little bit of variance in some of the sections. Uh, let's just go with a bit of that. There we go. I'm kind of creating like a path hilly path and it'll come more apparent what i'm doing in a minute so now we've got now paint uh texture is our next one oh, we got smooth height so that would uh go the other way and smooth it out a bit surround off edges and things like that don't really want to do that one and keep my nice jagged edges so paint texture is at the moment we've got white and it's pretty useless at the moment there's not much there to it and i kind of want to get a better texture on it so we're going to add in a texture we've got no textures defined at the moment we're going to edit textures we're going to add a texture brings up this window it popped up on my other screen but that's all right and we're going to add in a rgb texture and it keeps popping up on my other screen so these are the list of assets i've got now this was where you may not have anything so this is where we're going to go back out we're going to go back out and we're going to leave that alone for a second assets you probably don't have any assets except your scene so we need to get some assets so you can download textures from the internet there's also the ability to grab them from the asset store and my asset store window has disappeared on me so 
We're just going to pause the video here for a second just so I can get my asset store back up and running. And I'm back. So I lost my asset store up the top here. And so if we go into Windows and go into General, you can get back your asset store here in this tab at the that and that will bring up the asset store. So in asset store this allows you to grab different assets and I'm just doing a project for free so we're just going to use free assets so on the right hand side we go down to free and then we can find some assets. One of the good ones to get and I've already got this one is natural starter kit and um, that one's a great one to get us started with some basic terrain and textures and things like that and that will get us um, the ground textures that we want. So we can go back now, you've got the asset store up here under the tab, and I'm just going to go back to our scene. So, now, we are going to find our terrain, and yep, I'm just zooming around, mouse wheeling out, scrolling around until I get back to my scene. Now, we can now give it some textures, because we have imported some textures, hopefully. If you've downloaded them from the internet you'll have to go to where your uh, project is stored on your computer and save them in there and then they should pop up in here so we're going to go edit textures i'm going to add we're just going to add some basic textures i've got some textures here and i'm just going to go with uh, basic ground texture to begin with and then to go back, go back into here, yep, leave that alone, and we'll go add. So the first texture you put down will go all over the terrain, everywhere. And we can add in another one, and I want a grass-based one, so I'm just going to look through, see if we've got some ground, floor grass, excellent. Get out of that one, add it, and now we can paint on some grass. So I'm going to select my grass, you can select on each one. You can't really see it, but the little blue bar here knows which one you've selected. So just click on it and then you can start painting that on and you can see it starts to come through on your texture. So I might just do a little bit around the place and it's laying it on pretty thick. Um, let's not have it laid on so thick. Target strength. There you go. That way it's got a little bit of capacity to it. Don't have a target strength a little too much. There we go. And don't want it on the heels. I might need to add another texture. Uh, let's go for some rock now. See if I've got any rocky textures. Can't really see anything that looks like rock. Some noise, all sorts of different things. Oh, there's a different ground texture. And I've got some water. And doesn't look like we have any rocks, so why don't we just go back to that other ground texture and just add a bit of that in just to change up the landscape just a bit. And you can put that down. If you had a rock texture, which is what I was looking for, you could apply that as well. Wow, that looks like a leafy texture, not really what I was looking for. That's okay. And then let's just put a bit more of that through. Alright, so once you've found your textures and added in your textures, I'm doing this really quickly. That gets us our start for our terrain. Now, what about trees? We want to be able to place some trees. Alright, so same thing again. Hopefully, let's see if we've got any trees. Add a tree. Now, we're looking for a game object, so it's actually a game object now that we're looking for. And hopefully, you might need to find on the asset source some bushes or something like that. And we're going to add a bush in. So, brush size again, don't want it to be too big. We don't want to cover the area and density of trees. We want that to be pretty low. So, just speckle some trees and bushes around the place, making sort of a deserty landscape with a sparsely laid out landscape so and we're gonna add another one get a different tree now we've got a, di a few different bushes i can add just to change it up a bit and there we go this area has got some trees on it all right 
and what else do we need maybe let's see if we can't find a grass and again let's find out if we got some grass textures let's just type in here grass Ooh, let's see if that one works and let's go add some grass Whoa, that's a lot of grass let's turn that down and let's turn that down Whoa, that's a lot of grass all right we're just gonna cull back on that grass just a little bit and we're just gonna push back a little bit pretty vibrant grass we want it to be pretty fine thin so I just use the target strength and just turn that down a bit all right so we've now got some grass and as you can see we got uh, some weeds and plant like stuff and we're gonna add another different one uh, let's see what I've got too many so let's just go one of these different types yep that looks good and we just whoa that's a lot yet again let's turn down the target strength okay wow oh still the same one let's just go put that back up that's a bit grass quite a lot of grass and then we'll turn down the strength of it and then we'll cull back a bit of the grass so we get a little bit of difference let's not have as much grass over there there we go so we've got some grass in now and all right that looks like a pretty good terrain so you can muck around with your terrain you can have big gaps, you can have little gaps, you can have drop-offs, you can make hills. Just remember if you want a nice sloped hill, we can use our smoothing, which is this one here. Or we might want to have nice tall hills with the spikes and have them unable to maybe bypass. Uh, we might want to go the other way just make it very fine fine touchy touch touch and then we might want to drop the height down a bit on some of this and just have it pulled down a bit on the edge might have a bit here that's like falling in and then we might have a very tall section over here that passable terrain that's really nice and tall and then we might have a little gap in here might have this bit as a, like a pass and a bit along the edge here but you can play around with what that's going to look like you might do a bit of smoothing around this side here because it's a bit jagged just smooth those tops off a bit and there we go we've got a basic terrain to start our project with so this is going to be our start point over here and i think this will be our end point over here and might just change it up a little bit i want to sort of have a cave entrance over here so we might go with a bit of that and uh we want to go a bit higher on this side so we might have a bit of a cave entrance here yeah and we might have this all built up around looking like we're going into the side of a massive quite large structure so the player doesn't think that they can get past without going through and let's just smooth out 
this section and drop that back down a bit. There we go. And let's drop this all the way back down. We've got a bit of a cave like area. Cool. Alright, and I'll put a doorway in there later with some assets. So, now this looks awesome, but what we might want to do as well is we might want to grab some ocean. So, we're going to look at that and we're going to have a little look in the asset store for some ocean. Okay, so we're going to add some water in and we're going to look in that asset area. And so we're going to go up into the asset store and you know, type in uh, water at the top. All right, comes out with a thousand results, but a lot of these are paid for. So we're just doing free assets. So you scroll down to the pricing and we're going to click on free. So I have grabbed this one, this low poly water, just because yeah, it's going to look a nice, nice basic. We don't need anything super advanced. Lots of different ones out there. You've got to make sure it's compatible with the same Unity. Uh, the uh, version of Unity you're using, so you might want to just check that. So you can go up into Help, and you can go about Unity. It'll bring up this screen, and it will tell you what version of Unity Unity you're using. Um, there it is, right there. Beautiful, 2018, 0.2.20 F1 Personal Edition. So I'm just going to click on that and download that and it's going I'm going to go back up to my scene so it loaded in this folder here low poly water pack and in that we've got our if we click on that on the right hand side here we can see we've got some um, files here but we can and it's also got little island in here and that sort of thing that we could import if we wanted to but the one we want is the ocean so we click on that and just drag it in over our scene now, as you can see, it's not in the right spot at all. So we're going to click on it. We're going to move it around. Oh, we're going to use the arrows to get it in place. And we're just going to make sure it covers our island. So now, as you can see, we've got it. So it's kind of covering our area. Now, we're going to have to have it a little bit lower. And oh, that's perfect got some areas where we can see that it goes a little bit lower than the landscape but higher than the landscape so if we had it up there you can see that that became a pool of water over there we don't want that we want that to be our dip into our cave system and from there we will be able to use this so if we just play this now going to hit play on this and as you can see the water in this already has a uh, animation on it and so you can see it ripples and that's just a nice little addition to our game at the moment though we are getting this weird view of our game and uh, that's because where our main camera is at the moment our main camera is very high and sitting over the middle of the ocean so we can move our camera around you can see our game view moves but that's not very useful unless we wanted an overarching look of our map we are going to have our camera assigned to the player and that's what our next tutorial we will be looking at is how to add a player to our game i'm going to go with the third person player and uh, that's where i think i'll finish up on this video and join us in the next video for creating a uh, third person, potentially a first person character, um, we might look at both and you can decide which one you're interested in. Alright, that is it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.